Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Boomich video. I am here on my Warships account and we got Bombardiers. I think last time I dropped off the video by saying we're gonna push for Bombardiers. I got Bombardiers, I got Barrages, I upgraded Barrages to level four and honestly, they're not as good as I thought they would be. Let's jump into some attacks, try to get as many out of the way as possible. What I was expecting to happen happened where mechs is not the right troop to bring for your bombardiers and it kind of sucks because i like using bombardiers they're really really strong really really good at warships but i guess that all depends on if you have a good tanking troop out in front of your grenadiers and the mechs is just not the right tanking troop here and i messed that up brutally that that landing i'm hoping i'll be able to take out both of these with my barrages but if we're not that's going to be an issue because I'm kind of depending on that. So this player kind of uh, stacking up his defenses, stacking up his cores. Each of my barrages deals about 10,000 damage. And I think that there's a total of 20,000 HP on these, on these cores. So I think we'll take this out, we'll get a barrage out, and we'll get a win. I mean, I don't see any way we'll fail this. There we go, core goes down 320, really, really powerful. If you remember before I got the bombardiers, before I got the barrages, I was around like the 250 mark. Just using mechs was really, really slow. This is literally so much better by a time of like 30 seconds. So this player looks like he dropped a few boats from the bottom side, dropped a few boats from the top, doesn't have bombardiers. Bombardiers, really, really good. I'm coming to learn and I'm really hoping we can hit iron today. And I say this every time, but I feel like it's important to say I'm not a big Warships player. There's people that are way better than me. I just enjoy playing it. It's fun for me to play. So, you know, I'm just going to make do. Um, that was not very smart. <laughs> My bombardiers are just going to walk through the center and fry themselves. Anyway, I'm hoping I will have a reflare by then anyway. But, I don't know, we'll see. So... I'm really liking warships. Oh gosh, all of my, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get slaughtered here. I'm actually gonna lose this. Oh my gosh, what a base, what a base indeed. So I'll take down two cores, it looks like, but man, well played by this player. You know what, let's re-flare down, we'll get a med kit out. I'm just trying to get engine rooms at this point. I said it last time, but I really feel, I really feel strongly, that was such a bad med kit. I really feel strongly that it's all about the engine rooms. If you if you take down all of the engine rooms, that's really good. Even if you don't win, that's still fine. When you're a lower level player like I am here, oh dang, I was hoping you'd be able to hit from like the corner there. Oh well. When you're a player that isn't super high up in um what's it called, stars, then it doesn't really matter if you lose because you're gonna lose, you're gonna win, you're gonna make progress. Eventually you'll get to a point where you just can't progress until you upgrade stuff. So it really doesn't matter in my opinion, but I really have to get a troop that can tank for my bombardiers. The heavies, I'm already looking towards the heavies, but that is gonna be a really long time until I can grab heavies. So I don't really see that being a good option. So what can we do to help me win this? Because Obviously, my mechs are dying super fast. I could upgrade my mechs, but that's just a waste, I feel like, because I'm probably not going to use them in the near future. Obviously, Bullet, really, really good. But the issue is he's 40 unlock tokens to get, which is just way too much for me. I kind of want to push and grab shock launchers. I think that would help me overall. I think that would be really good for my base. It's a really good defense, but the question is, is do I want to do that over pushing for heavies? Which I don't know. I'm still in this boat. You know what? I think we'll try pushing for heavies. Obviously, it's a long ways off, but I feel like that's kind of my best move here. I'm going to keep getting fried, if I'm being honest. Like, I just have to get to the point where I'm just taking down players, just taking down the engine rooms of players and kind of forgetting about the rest. So I'm hoping I'll get to that point. This is kind of the base we like to see. I think I'll probably start going with the three mech approach. I don't like it because then I spend more energy landing my troops, but we just saw that having two mechs just isn't enough for me, isn't enough tanking power for me. So I think three mechs is probably, probably the way to go. 
Okay, we'll get a barrage on the bottom side. That should take out the lower core. I'm really liking this season, though, in all honesty. I've said this pretty much every video. I think this is probably one of the most fun seasons of Warships I've played on in an extremely long time. I just don't remember another season that I've enjoyed as much as this one. And I think the content I'm making kind of reflects that. I mean, I'm making the most amount of Warships content I've made in an extremely long time. I think this is my fourth video in a row of just doing Warships. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Make sure you drop a like. The last Warships video I did didn't get a lot of support. So uh, definitely go drop that like button. Oh the pain of not having flares actually he definitely has flares because he has bombardiers it's all about finding that sweet spot because if you have too many mechs you don't have enough bombardiers you're gonna make some really slow progress if you have too many bombardiers not enough mechs do what i did last battle and just get fried by someone but we gotta win did not mean to click that i was saving that chest for when we hit the next engine room oh well gonna upgrade my troop health Feel like that's important also upgrade my shocks i don't really know why i'm upgrading my shocks because i want to spend most of my energy dropping barrages not dropping shocks so you know what i think we'll probably play this safe instead of risky i think that's probably the move to go with so i'm gonna go from this side get two and then go from this side and then I'm gonna bard out this top one. You know, I could have dropped them off from the bottom. It might have worked out, but I feel like just being safe because I can grab that core easily. I can grab that core easily. I should be able to beat this base. But if I lose, um, okay, we'll drop that flare because I want my troops to go now. Okay, we took that down. We'll get another flare out. But if I lose my um. But you see here that I just got fried on that beach. If I lose all of my troops on the bottom and not get to that core, that's not what we want. So played it safe, worked out well, even if my troops had to walk a little extra. We got to win. This player going with the bombardier mech combination. <laughs> I can't believe this is actually a meta. I hate this combination so much. I don't like mechs. You guys know that. Literally any other tanking troop would be good. Maybe not tanks, but... You guys know what I'm saying. Okay. Three mechs. Get my bombardiers out. Get my hero out. Bart down this. I mean, I'm liking this. I like it. Whenever you have flares and barrages, it gets really fun. But also, if you don't upgrade your stuff in the right order, you might get screwed over and be at a severe disadvantage. It really sucks when you're in that place where you can't get upgrades done. It, uh, when you can't get any upgrades out, but you just keep losing bases over and over again. It's just a sucky place to be in. That's when it really comes down to just get engine rooms, just get crates, just get those upgrades done. It takes a while to pull yourself out of that mess, but it's possible. I mean, I'm attacking players right now that are around my same level who haven't grinded this entire warship season. I've wasted so many chests of just not doing anything. And I'm fine with that. Can't believe he destroyed this whole side with one hero. I don't think it's worth it though. I mean, it's taking him a really long time. He also has bombardiers, but is bringing grenadiers, which I don't understand why people do that. You already have the better troop, just bring the better troop. Anyway, let him do what he wants. We're gonna pull out the the win here. Let's go look at my base. You know, I think pretty soon having a base that just focuses on killing the army of my opponent will be better. But right now, I mean, we're one win away from getting to iron. So I'm really hoping we can do this. Oh, this is not what we want though. <laughs> oh man, this is interesting because Here's the deal. I dropped two barrages on this core. I don't think it goes down because of the sky shield. So I'm thinking maybe if I barrage this one, go for this one and the one over here, that might win. But I'm just worried I'll get fried. But you know what? Can't really do anything about that, can we? Uh, we have one more mech. We'll 
drop it on that side, get my hero on the other side, and we'll barrage this down. Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go. I mean, we might utterly lose this, or this might actually work out overall. So I'm hoping that this right-hand side can take down the core fast, so I can flare to this left-hand side. Actually, it's going pretty well. It's going really well. Look at that. I was a little nervous going into it. 329 isn't bad. However, this is exactly how my base design is pretty much. It is just as easy to take out my base. So I think pretty soon we'll start seeing people using the combination I'm using. But I think we're down a little too low for people to start doing that yet. People don't have that insight or all the players that do have this just pushed up really high. Okay, so what can we do? You know, I think we're still going to save for this so we can grab heavies as soon as possible. Of course, as soon as we grab heavies, artillery is going to be such a big, a big deal. This sucks. Yeah, artillery is going to be such a big deal at the next one, so we'll have to push for that. It's going to be a pain. I'm not going to worry about that right now, though, because I already am in a very good place right now. What do we want to do, though, for my upgrade tokens? Because we still have upgrade tokens we can spend on stuff, even if we don't want to spend our unlock tokens on anything. So I could do troop health, always something that's really, really good. I don't think I'm going to do this upgrade. I don't think it's worth it this season. Also, I'm really far behind, so I don't think it's worth it. Um, mines are always good, but right now the meta is max. So I don't think that's going to be a good thing to upgrade. You know, rocket launcher is also a really big upgrade that I can do. <sighs> that's so hard. I mean, we really want to get shock launchers, but I don't want to spend this many tokens to grab it. You know what? I think that might actually be the move to go. Yeah, I, I, I think so. We'll get our... Uh, our shock launchers will upgrade our sniper towers i think having maxed out sniper towers is really gonna help us just be able to slow players down even faster i mean these guys have a lot of hp i think it's really gonna help slow down some people we'll do that and i think we can do one more smaller upgrade i kind of just want to do shocks i mean we use them all the time uh maybe mortars mortars are good against bombardiers kind of We'll do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how your season is going. I'm so happy I finally got to Iron 11. You know what? I might have to take one day off of Warships, next uh, next video off of Warships, and then I'll come back and we'll push for the Shock Launcher and we'll just see where we're going from there. I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.